Hey, and welcome to Facts Flat. In this video, I'm going to take you through how you can set up your account, add your favorite links, and eventually have a beautiful homepage for the internet. So stay tuned, follow the steps, and let's go. So the first thing we do is just go to factsplat.com and select free sign up. Now, once our user is created, we can go through the tutorial or we can simply skip it. So as you can see, it's pretty empty right now. So let's just get started adding some of our links. Something that everybody likes to check for time to time is the weather. So I usually check the weather for Trondheim, that's where I live. So I'm going to copy the URL for Trondheim. And I'm just going to paste it in here. And I can right click on the page and paste from clipboard. But I can also go to the plus side and paste it from there. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to say weather Tron high. The first time I paste from clipboard directly, it can ask me if I'm allowing to paste the text into Ficeplat. Just click allow on that. And then it will, you want it to be asked again. Now, we need to add some other links just real fast. Okay, so now our first link's in here. And one thing you can do on Fastspot is edit the icon. And I want the bank icon to be more visible. So I just click three dots, click edit. And to be honest, I don't like them to the bank. It's stealing my money. So let's put this cried emoji. Yes, that's that's what you get back. Okay, let's take a look at the note. So I don't want, I don't care much about this note. I'm just going to delete what says here. And I'm going to call this one a to-do. You can always add as many notes as you want, but just adding a new note. Simple as that. Another thing I really recommend is downloading Facebook as an app. The way you do this, just click this icon. You can find a similar icon in the Edge browser. This is on Chrome. Click install. And what's super nice by this is if you, for example, have a bigger screen or a screen where you can have two pages side by side, you can easily click on any link in the app version and it's going to open in the browser just like that. So a lot of people like to just keep Flat always on the screen, uh, kind of to the left or to the right side of the screen to easily access anything. You can also pin it to the test bar, but just right clicking on the test bar, pinning it, it's always going to be there. Whenever you need to add something to Factsplat, you just click on the add icon and you can add it immediately. Another great tip is setting Factsplat as your start page in the browser. You can do this by just clicking help, going to the help center, clicking on the getting started page and find your browser right here. Follow the instructions. So we got a really good start now, and I want to show you three simple tips on how you can build the best version of Factsplat for you. So the first of all is just keep in mind, anytime something you do often takes more than three clicks, whether it's going to the same folder, or the same document, or whether it's doing something in a bank or something else, if it takes more than three clicks and you do it often, add it to Factsplat. If you spend more than one time looking for something, step number two, add it to Factsplat. And step number three, if somebody sends you a link, whether it's in a messenger chat, a Slack channel, a Teams or a Google channel, or whatever it is, just add the link to Pysplat and you won't have to spend 30, 40, 50 minutes looking through all of your chat channels to find that link. So there you have it guys. We've set up a fantastic start to our Pysplat journey. Follow these three steps and you can see your digital environment is gonna naturally build to something that's perfect for you. And finally, if you want to see some good inspiration on different things you can use Facebook for, check out this next video right here.